Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to ESL Australia's coverage of the Australia and New Zealand Championship for Rocket League. My name is Nutters. I'm joined by the amazing Rankies for the moment. We are here with the last game of the night. We have got Atletico up against Corviday. Corviday finally coming back with their full core. However, Day is actually missing out tonight, so we will be seeing Plitz, Siki, and Steve. Uh, obviously, Atletico, the old Sandcastle recently picked up Dumbo, Emp, and Lucrish. They happen to have possibly the strongest uh, and most consistent stats in those qualifiers, actually coming in in third, fourth, and fifth place with a constant scores, uh, actually coming out with the highest overall. Absolutely. Definitely some of the stronger players it comes to individual stats, uh, and they do work quite well as a team together. Corvade, on the other hand, definitely very capable. So it's going to be interesting. I am expecting an Atletico win here, to be honest. I'd like to see Corvade actually take us, be that first team that can take us through that game five. I'd like to see Corvade put up an amazing fight, but obviously they are playing with the sub, that is Steve. They've played with him for quite a while recently. Not in this exact lineup, we do see obviously the Plitz, Siki, and Steve instead of the Days, Siki, and Steve. Plitz is back, he's a very strong player. Hopefully, we'll be seeing some good players out of him. They can get some stuff together, but you'd have to say, that lineup, just Dumbo, Emp, and Lucrish, happen to be just so strong that you'd have to give the game to them. Absolutely, yeah. Uh... What are your predictions for, for a series score here, Nutters? I'm going to have to take Sandcastle here 3-2. I think they will be the stronger team. Sorry, Atletico here 3-2. They, I do believe they'll be the stronger team. I think that they will be, obviously, uh, just outclassing them ever so slightly, but I'd like to see the games alternating. I'd expect to see Sandcastle taking sort of that 1-3-5. and five. Uh, Corvade hopefully taking those couple of games in between and I really hope we see a couple of overtimes here as well. I do believe these will be the closest match teams that we'll see tonight. Yeah, I I tend to agree with you there. Uh, I think that Atletico are definitely going to you know throw down uh, throw down the gloves here. So would not surprise me if we see uh, very much the same uh, as the previous uh, series we just saw three uh, one. However, I'm confident that Atletico could pull this three 0 Yep, I could definitely see it going either way. But for now, we're going to be heading into the game. We've got Corvade, we've got Atletico, and right now, it's going to be Steve going for this kickoff up against what I do believe will be Lucarish. And now, seeing this kickoff going in favor of Steve, ever so slightly, drops back to Blitz. It's being played forwards here. He's going to get up on this, going to try and drop this down. Puts it just over the crossbar, expecting the pass. Lucarish comes through, gets it. Steve playing it into the center, but M with a nice clear out. It's going to drop nicely into the corner. Blitz plays it back. Trying to clear this one away. Dumbo right back in there, though. Steve misses that one. It's going to be free for Dumbo. Drops it for Lucrish, who plays it straight over. That was an outstanding fake coming in from Dumbo. Great stuff there from Dumbo. Jumps up, as you said, perfectly played with the fake. Allows Lucrish to get one of the more interesting touches I've ever seen him. Kind of gets up and gives it a whack into the back of the net there. Great first goal here for Atletico. It's going to be up to Corvade to really stack on pressure now. Obviously, Atletico, one of the stronger teams in this uh, league. Definitely capable of playing together as a team as well. Dumbo, in previous games though that we've seen of these guys, not as you usually uh, see him sitting back in defense a little bit, and it tends to be Lucarish and Emp that get up and, and work those pass plays together. However, Dumbo certainly capable of doing that as well, so it'd be interesting to see what kind of stance they take with player positioning in this series. Yeah, the ball's going to fly out to the side now. It's going to be up for Emp. He's going to drop this one over to Dumbo. Tries to get the shot off. Can't actually get the touch on it at all. Lucrish and Emp both following that one into the corner. It actually gets one out there by Steve. Plays it up to Siki. He's going to try and control this one down into the corner. Plitz coming through. Gets it nicely across the goal. Dumbo there to clear it out, however. And you can see Corvade already trying to make these team plays. Make the most of what they can with the passing. But Dumbo intercepts that one off the wall from Steve. It's going to be Lucrish trying to play it back into the center. Plitz is there to clear this one away yet again. And... Well, Atletico just applying and mounting this pressure, and they're doing a very good job at it. Absolutely. Plitz now with control, trying to get this one cleared. Lucrish will depossess off the backboard, looking for a shot on just off that top bar. Emp throws it towards net, just over the top of Sexy Steve. I don't think that he was able to find an angle in defense. Nice second goal comes out here for Atletico. Great teamwork. Absolutely lovely, Aoi. Just slots that one in. 
And it does give them that doubled up lead. Atletico taking it 2-0. One of the nicest starts we've seen to a game with early goals. I mean, usually going into the later parts of the series, we do see those goals coming later and later to the point where we went four and a half minutes in the last series without one. In saying that, Corvade really wants to get something back here. You can see them just trying to push up on the attack, but Dumbo going to float that one out, gets it away. Siki's there. He's going to try and bring it back inside, and Plitz and Steve will both challenge on that one. Steve does win out, takes it forwards. It's going to be Siki dropping that one in. Plitz comes across. Can't get the shot on, and now Siki to challenge it to play it into the middle. Does get it there. Lucrish, however, comes across, gets it cleared. Siki gets a basically a phantom touch there. Doesn't get much on that. Bring it back inside. Lucrish to Amp. Amp can't get the shot directly on, but plays it past. Takes the second touch and triples it up. It's now 3-0 to Atletico. There we go. Well played to Lucrish there. Fed that across to AOEM, and then AOEM just plays himself off the backboard really nicely. Again, referring back to the invite qualifier statistics, I know a lot can change in you know, three to four weeks, but... None of the Corvidae players in the top 10 for player rating, whereas Atletico, all three of the players uh, that, you know, we're seeing on the field right now, they're in the top 10. AOEM comes in at 6, and Lucrish and Dumbo, uh, respectively, at ninth and 10th place with their player ratings across every player that played in the invite qualifier. So, really great stuff uh, for Atletico. Corvidae, they're looking strong so far, but they haven't been able to find those convincing pass plays. However, we know they're capable of it, not us. I'd say they're getting the convincing pass plays, but they're just not capitalizing at the end of it. They're getting the shots, but they're not putting it past this defense. They're trying to make us think that they're here, but they're just not showing up yet. And putting that one over the top, does end up dropping it back for Lucrish in the end. Sicky to clear it away. But Corvade being put under the pressure, they just can't handle it so far. And right now, this ball dropping into the min middle could actually be what they need. Instead, Steve actually pops it high. He had the chance for a shot there, maybe able to get a power drop onto it. But instead, decides to just slot back. Tries to drop this one down into the center. And Plitz can't get that one on target. Good. Dumbo, great save off the back of Siki's shot. Steve across to Siki. Back to Steve. Can't connect on that shot. Nice pass play there from Corvidae. But still, they're struggling to find accuracy or even connections with these shots. And Atletico, they're stuck in defense right now. A lot of backboard play comes out from Corvidae. Emp with that save. Not enough as Plitz won't be able to find it on target. Lugrish, powerful clear over the top now. AOEM trying to get in the back of it, but well played to Plitz there. Getting back in defense, just delaying things. Now works for a clear forward Dumbo. Gonna leave that one for Lugrish. Dumbo already retreated out of the area. The Emp now up in the air. It's a touch on, only helps Corvida here. Dumbo has to try and clear. Picks up the corner boost. Steve throws that one on far post net. Lugrish will get the clear. AOEM. Doesn't quite put it on target there. Could have been the fourth goal. Less than a minute, and then Lukrish will put it in. And Dumbo to finish for that fourth goal. Yeah, Lukrish picks up his playmaker there as well. Lovely players coming out. Lukrish just drops that one nicely to the center. It was basically already going in. Dumbo just confirms that goal more so than anything. 4-0. You'd say this game definitely Atletico's. They'll be taking the first one of the series. Unless Corvidae make some magic happen. Siki's going to take this one up off the wall. He's going to try and drop this. Actually drops that one on target. Blitz comes through. Gets a goal back for Corvidae. This could be an interesting comeback if they can keep this up. Absolutely. They need uh, quick goals now on, uh, obviously, 45 seconds remaining. The yeah, averaging 15 seconds a goal here just to tie things up. So they're going to have to really stack some pressure on Atletico. So far, playing well enough in defense to keep Corvidae away long enough. That's AoE Imps. Save your badge now. Corvidae's Plitz. Throws this one in the center. Dumbo gets a touch onto the ball. Send it across the other side of the field. Lucrish playing underneath the ball. Siki will fly over the top and knock it forward. AoE Imp throws that one down. Plitz looking for Siki. Won't be able to beat Dumbo to the ball. Lucrish with a challenge onto Plitz. This is still threatening for Corvidae as Atletico come through with those powerful clears. And this team is just absolutely amazing at what they do in terms of pass plays. Defense not enough there for Atletico, however, as Plitz finds a second. However, with only 10 seconds remaining, they now require two goals, averaging five seconds a goal each. Now, there's basically looking at, you know, a couple kickoff goals would certainly be great, uh, but they don't really have much more uh, time other than that. I have to agree with you, and generally the Corvidae kickoffs don't go Corvidae's way as you generally see, but we haven't seen too many of them recently. This is going to pinch in nicely. This could be a shot. Never mind. It hits the ground. Atletico pick up game number one in this best of five series. They'll take that one out quite convincingly, you'd say. A little bit of a falter 
uh, sort of coming up to that finishing line at the end, but taking it out 4-2, uh, convincing enough. Uh, obviously, six shots coming out from Siki alone, a total of 12 from Corviday. Only the five shots coming out on Atletico, with obviously four of those leading to goals. Lovely plays coming out. Three saves for Emp, four saves in total. Lucrish and Dumbo sharing two of them each. No saves coming out for Corviday, so basically every shot Atletico had on target just went in. Absolutely, and Atletico are great in defense as well. You pointed out the amount of saves they had in Corviday. Credit to them, they were throwing shots on. Uh, you know, t total of 12 shots between uh, all of the players. But Atletico, they're just looking so strong at the moment. Uh, really not too much else to say. Corviday need to significantly step things up. And there goes the server down for maintenance. So I guess we'll just have to cut to a short break here, not as while we get the uh, game organized again. So we'll throw it back to webcams. And actually, I suppose... Um, we could actually stay on and talk a little bit more about uh, stats while we get the lobby organized nutters. Yep, I'd have to agree with you on that one. I mean, it, when we do sort of look at those initial invitational qualifier statistics, you'd say Atletico looking the strongest. You can understand mm. why they obviously qualified at Sandcastle, picked up by Atletico, and even if just looking at those statistics, you can see why they were picked up. They managed to have the yep. most consistent with the score. They came in, you know, third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, obviously, one of the better players for them happened to be Amp. Just an absolute standout for them. Right now, obviously, we've seen in this first game, it's been Lucrish, it's been Dumbo, have been putting their, their I suppose, their say in, but Amp getting, obviously, those two goals to sort of keep it up. Uh, at the same time, you know, I feel like Corviday, they've got work to do. They didn't, uh, obviously, they didn't actually come through the Invitational. So, mm. No stats you'd always, for them. <laughs> you'd always struggle to really compare them there. Uh, yep. At the same time, it looks like we've got these teams back. We're back in game, and we're back with game number two, Atletico taking that first one out. Absolutely. I'm looking for strong team players here from Atletico. They've got to keep up uh, You know the, the assists they get. Of course, everyone knows, notice that assists are certainly my favorite thing in Rocket League. And when it comes to that, Atletico do even better than they did on the score. Dumbo, uh, in the invite qualifier, had the most assists out of anyone. And Lucrish and Emp uh, pick up third and fourth place on that as well. Even the assists, the average assist per game, uh, they're significantly up there on the leaderboard as well. If we take a look at that, again, it's 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 all great stuff here. Dumbo is still first on that one. Lucrish and uh, AoE Emp, they're down in, I believe, uh, fifth and sixth place there. So this is definitely the team when it comes to assists and pass plays, in my opinion. At yeah, least conversion see one. pass plays. Oh, that's Lucrish. Getting the shot on Dumbo, trying to finish it, but it just didn't come to fruition there. Dumbo's going to come back through on this one, tries to play it past Blitz, can't bump Blitz in time. Blitz does get the save and actually ends up going into Lucrish, forcing him away from that ball. Does keep it all on edge. Everyone just missing the ball, but Amp comes through, takes control of this, drops it for Dumbo. That's Atletico's first goal, one minute in. And that's what I'm talking about as well uh, with Atletico. They don't just go for those shots straight away. Amp angled his car for that challenge to try and send that ball upwards towards Dumbo. And cool, calm, collected as ever. Number one surfer dude, OCE. Dumbo scores the first goal of this game, heading into the second kickoff. Dumbo, a heavy win. Could it be a kickoff goal? Yes, it could. Of course, no assist there for Atletico. But to be fair, we don't really see a ton of those anymore, uh, do we, Nutters? It's it's not often that you see a kickoff goal that happens like that. We saw a couple last night, but they were finished by a separate player. I believe that was actually the Shady, Cyrix, and Zest uh, sort of combination. They had a couple like that happening, but at the same time, you have to consider Corp Day kickoffs can become a thing yet again with these guys playing in the league. So this is... I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more of those. It just depends how the team's playing. In saying that, Corviday need to stage a comeback and they need to start staging it now. We saw that they weren't able to do it coming into the last minute in that first game. But right now, Lucrish <laughs> puts that one high, drops it for Dumbo instead. Intentional pass play. Intentional pass play indeed. You'd have to say that they may have heard us talking about the assists and they just wanted to confirm it. They're happy with that one, calling out a great pass. Dumbo there to back up his teammate Lucrish on... One of the uh, the biggest whiffs on an open net that I think I've seen. That is, he's absolutely beamed it, but of course Dumbo good enough with the recovery off the backboard. Siki 
Won't be able to keep up with that one. LEM looking for a clear off the backboard. Siki again still in this offensive corner. Retreats now, perhaps needs boost. Sexy Steve throws that one towards net. Shy of the post and Lukerich gets the clear. Looking for a pass forward. Finds it around the backside of Plitz. Doesn't make the connection in the corner. Enables Siki to try and get the clear. Emp though, here to back his team up. This is uncharacteristic of Atletico. They're making the standard pass plays that we usually see of them. But one thing that I've noticed that they're not doing is normally Nutters, uh, when we see Atletico play, they get huge pass plays. So close with the shot there from Sexy Steve. As I was saying about Atletico, huge pass plays. And then as they rotate out for that, you know, secondary player to come through, they get a bump on one of the Corvidae defenders. They haven't been doing that much uh, of that this series, but credit to them. They don't need to. 3-0 up, just over half the game remaining, and Corvidae struggling, it seems. Yeah, it's going to be dropped forward here by Amp. Siki's there to try and clear this one out. He does get the first touch, can't get the second. Dumbo's there to challenge him. He fakes him out, taking this one central. Plitz tries to get the bump on Amp, completely misses him. Unlucky there, but this one's dropping down. Lukrish comes across, makes the save. Amp's there, plays this one forward. Open net, increases that lead. It's now 4-0. We've played just over half the game. And considering we saw this in the first game, you'd say Corvidae looking very much out of this. Yeah, unfortunately for themselves, it's looking like things are going to be tough for them once again. Of course, this is only game two, so a win here for Atletico would not be the end of the world for Corvidae. Uh, obviously, for them to be able to make the comeback here would certainly be huge. Uh, pick up a win in game two would be much better for them uh, in the end of uh, everything being said and done. Some nice pass plays coming out from Corvidae once again. As we said, they've been able to get the pass plays, but they're not finishing with them and putting those shots on others. Yes, and it's, that's the exact opposite of what Atletico are doing. They're putting almost everything on target. Dumbo coming across, ends up playing it into Siki. That's a shot, but this is an open net. Luckily, Plitz comes across and forces Lukas away from that one. Gets it cleared out, avoids that deficit, changing itself up into that 5-0. Gives them just the slightest chance as we did see them coming back towards the end of that first game. Lukas gets a shot on Siki with a nice easy save over to the side. Siki playing this one back over the top as well. It's going to fall down here. It's dropping into the center. Dumbo. Puts this one over. It's going to be played over the top of Plitz as well. Emps up there. Luckily, Siki gets it over to the side. And you can just see Atletico trying to get these passing plays going. And even when they're not getting it going, they're just capitalizing on the small mistakes coming out from Corvidae. Absolutely. Dumbo breaking down Sexy Steve there. But it works out for Siki. However, that's another shot from Siki that's found that top post. And don't tell me this is going to be it. It will be OEM. Gets the long goal off the back of uh, the pass from Dumbo. Being credited with the assist there as he got the uh, touch the center towards that OEM. Great goal. Judge would be proud now. This is on target. Absolutely. A minute six on the clock. Five goals down. Corvidae almost well and truly out of this game. They will need to reverse Atletico. You'd say they'd have to go for that reverse sweep. Uh, and actually getting this one off to Dumbo. Gets it off to Luca. She's going to play it over the top of Plitz. Makes it 6 0. Wow. Yet again, another amazing one, two, three. passing team play. Absolutely. There it is. I think that was Aoyen to Dumbo. Chipped across to Lukerish. Didn't take the shot straight away. Picked up control. Got a nice little play off the side of the, uh, the nose of the car there. And waited for that perfect opportunity to take that shot. Less than a minute. 6-0. Potential for a Brazil to come out. But uh, I don't think that Atletico will uh, even want to go for that. I think they'll be wanting to make it even 8-0 if they can find that much. Yeah, Dumbo going to try and play this one over yet again. Emp will be there to play it central for Lukrish. Puts it high. Unlucky, but Dumbo coming through with a lovely finish. Lukrish picks up his playmaker. Dumbo picks up another aerial goal. Absolutely outstanding. Just rotating that car. 7-0. Just an absolute whitewash. Wow. Poor old Corvidae, they've, uh, they've not been given too many chances in this series. They can't let the, let this uh, get them down, though, notice. They need to try and stay on top of things. Sure, they're going to have to take this game as a loss. They could still pick up some goals. Uh, I don't see them picking up a win here, but anything they can get in this game is only going to help them moving forward in this series. Of course, this will put Atletico on match point. Yeah, 7-0 is one hell of a way to get themselves up onto match point as well. Lukrish popping this one forward, beats it past Siki. It's just not looking good. You'd say Corvidae may have given up on this. Plitz does get the clear out in the end. Siki knocking this one forward. It's going to drop. It's not going to go in. It's played over to the side. Plitz on this one knocks it towards the goal. Steve's up there trying to drop that one down. Can't force this one in, however. Plays it off to Siki, plays it out to the side. The game's already over. 
but they're going to keep playing until something like this ball touches the ground. It's all through. Dombo puts that high. Emp's there, and it will not touch the ground still. It's still <laughs> going. Oh, they're going to keep ups. this one up. Exactly. They have no reason to put this one down, apparently. Dumbo dropping it down for Emp. It will ah. touch the ground. Atletico officially take their second game and come away 2-0 now. Elliot calling. My bad. I think that I wanted to go for the record of those you keepy ups there, Nutters. But as we said, Atletico, match point, Corvidae with their backs up against the wall. Do you think they have it in them to at least pick up a game or even bring it to a game five here? It, it, I doubt it at the moment. Corvidae just haven't shown up tonight. They're not on point. Their point's just not looking right. Six shots from them, three saves total. Compared to the 11 shots coming out from Atletico, putting seven in. Four goals for Dumbo. The, obviously, that playmaker coming out for Lucrish. Emp gets a couple of goals and an assist. Dumbo gets it. It's just outstanding to see when you've just got all of these goals being assisted. You, you know, you've only got one goal that wasn't assisted. And that was that initial mm. kickoff goal from Dumbo. That's how you know you've got a team that's working well together. Absolutely. And the amount of shots that came out from Atletico just... Unbelievable numbers, a total of 11 there, so great stuff for them. Corvidae, they were in there with the efforts, of course, Sexy Steve and Sticky, uh, sorry, Sticky, not Sticky, uh, did pick up three shots each. Just not enough, it seems like, and again, they were, they were trying to make those pass plays, uh, as you pointed out earlier on, they just weren't able to get on the back of it, uh, you know, with those shots on uh, for those team plays. The shots that did come out from them were... Kind of weak. Siki found uh, with every single shot on uh, that he had, he found that crossbar. So accuracy uh, seems to be an issue for Corvette currently as well. Yeah, now going into this kickoff, Plitz up against Dumbo, just floats out to the side. Nobody able to actually get onto this one. Siki will come forward, gets it out to the side here, and gets a clear away. Plitz looking to come up on this one. It will drop down, however. Lucas coming through, gets it cleared out to the side. It's going to be Siki trying to get the shot on, but it's played straight to Emp, who popped this one up. Steve is there. Emp trying to get this one out. Dumbo plays it out to the side. It's going to be nicely dropped in. Blitz into the center. It's a chance for Atletico. Nobody there to finish it, however. It'll be Lucrish popping that one up onto the ceiling. Siki knocking this one forward. It's going to be Dumbo coming across, making a lovely save nice and early in this game. They haven't scored a goal as of yet, but should they score a goal, you can just expect them to keep steamrolling. Absolutely. This could be... The last match of the day, Nutters, obviously, uh, we were going to be having Jam taking on one more as well, but Jam weren't able to field the roster on the field, so one more credit with the uh, win there. And of course, this being the third one in the series could be the last game, but Corvidae, with a great start, Sexy Steve picking up the first goal, assisted, of course, by Siki. It's a great pass forward from Sexy Steve, and Siki gave just enough to land that one on Sexy Steve's nose so he can get that dodge to send it in the back of the net. Finally, we see that strong team play come out from Corvidae. They need to try and keep this up. The problem is, is it really strong or was that quite a lucky play? You'll have to figure that one out. And, well, to be honest, it only looked like a, quite a bit of luck there. Instead, Steve gets given an open net, decides to just wipe that in my face and scores another one here for Corvidae. Doubles up that lead, makes it 2-0, forcing Atletico to actually have to make a comeback in here. Absolutely, but... There's still plenty of time. Of course, Sexy Steve feels like he's uh, off the back of those two goals, starting to come alive, and we all know that when uh, Sexy Steve starts to pop off a bit, he's certainly going to be the carry of Corvidae Nutters. Most definitely. Now Lucrish popping this one forward. It's off the roof. It's dropping down. Plitz comes across, makes the save. Emp's there to drop it back into the center. Siki and Plitz both in that corner, not able to get it away. Dumbo's there. It'll be Steve knocking this one forward. Lucrish and Amp. Amp is going to be at the back. He misses that one, whiffs it entirely. Both Atletico players sitting at the back right now. Plitz is up trying to get a redirect, but he can't get it off that pass. Dumbo's going to follow this one up. Gets been to it by Siki. Amp looking to play this one out. Plays it out to the side. Siki onto the roof. It's going to be followed up by Amp. He's just going to sit underneath this one. Never mind. He tries to play it, but misses it. Lucrish bringing it inside. Beats it straight into Steve. And Siki will get a nice easy clear out. Brings it inside. Beaten to it by Amp. And Dumbo trying to get this one up. It'll be Emp following it. It's going to be Plitz on this. Does get it cleared out. And Corvidae looking a little bit more solid right now. Absolutely. Looking for this third goal. It's going to be really big for the Nutters. Atletico, obviously, want to try and make this comeback happen as soon as possible. Just over half the game remaining. So still plenty of time once again. Plitz won't be able to muscle that one past Dumbo. 
pass forward to AOE Amp. Throws is that one looking for top left. A bit wide there. Sexy Steve to clear off the backboard. Dumbo can forward for Lucrish, but cleared once again. I think that was Sexy Steve. Flits over towards Sicky, actually. Lucrish, flick over the top. AOE Amp. Perhaps a fake out. Lucrish will just go underneath and slightly to the side there. Really nice uh, shot option. Well played to Atletico here. Pick up their first goal in the game. Don't think he really faked out Siki. He may have had him obviously going over to that right side. Maybe Emp just got the tiniest bit out with that fake. Forced that momentum to stop. He couldn't get back on that one. And right now it's dropped in nicely. Corbidae only got that one goal lead. Atletico with just under half the game remaining. Still have that chance at the comeback. And the chance at taking the series out 3-0. It'll be Lucas playing this one back. It does drop to Amp. It's going to be played forwards here. But looks like Lucas will get out there. Just get played up there by... Steve and Plitz. Plitz playing this into the center. Siki's there. Gets the shot, but it's wide. Emp trying to get the clear out. Will be forced back into Lucas. Plitz not able to get there. Dumbo has to come over and clear this one out for Atletico. Siki knocking this one up high into the front of the goal. Steve's there. Can't drop it down just enough. Dumbo coming through. Lucas has blown up Siki. This is the chance for Atletico. He's going to drop this one down. Can't get it into the center. Siki gets the flip in, but Dumbo putting it back across. It's going to be Emp coming through, and it's just cleared out by Siki. There you go, Sexy Steve. What can he find off the back of this? Lucrish will clear. Uh, we amp on the sidewall. Throws that one down. Blitz stops it in the midfield. Dumbo. Chip up. Looking high. Finding uh, we amp perhaps. Trying to team up. Sexy Steve will come through for the clear. Blitz looking forward for a pass off the back of Sexy Steve. Throws that one parallel. Blitz again back to Sexy Steve. But that's one too many passes. Dumbo will intercept that one and throw it forward. Looking to keep up the aggression. Lucrish tries to go for the shot. That's a little bit greedy there. Would never find it past three defenders all in net. AOEM, it's a great pass to Dumbo, but again, look at Siki rushing towards Dumbo and getting that save. Minute remaining, Atletico still down a goal here, but off the back of that deep possess from Lukerish, they could make something, happening, something happen here in the last minute notice. Yeah, that's lovely. The shot Ooh. coming in from M. Not able to put it on target. It's left there for Dumbo. Fakes out one, but Lukerish not able to come around in time. The challenge from Steve comes in. 40 seconds on the clock. Atletico need the goal to clean sweep this series and give themselves a chance to take it to overtime. It'll be Steve getting this one away. Luca is trying to pop this one up. He's going to bring this over towards the side. It's going to be dropped down for Amp. who will hopefully come through this one nicely. Instead, Lucas has to go get himself some boost. Dumbo plays it onto the wall. His clock's ticked over. Down to that 20-second mark. Dumbo out to the side. Lucas will be trying to follow this one up. It's not going to drop for anybody. It's an open net now. Can Amp get it on target? He's got the shot. Siki comes across, makes the save. Absolutely crucial. Lucas dropping this one down. It's on target. Siki with another save. Amp is going to try and drop it as well, but Plitz gets in there just in time. This could be Corbidae's game. The shot from Dumbo. No, it's going to go down unless they can keep this one up. Lucas is underneath it. He's going to try pop it up. Steve ends up popping it. Plitz comes through, plays it off the backboard. Lucas puts it up, but this will go down, and Corbidae bring him one match back. Great effort there from Atletico towards the end to try and find that goal, but Corvide really woke up in defense. They found it out of the half. OCE keepy ups weren't as strong in this game. Obviously, that's what Corvide wanted. They don't want this, uh, you know, the ball being in the air for a chance to Atletico to tie things up and take it to overtime on that zero second mark. Really great stuff here for Corvide picking up a win in the series. That's what they need to get back into it. Atletico got some team players coming out, but Corvide obviously strengthening that defense quite nicely. Uh, just really pulling it back here now. And, well, heading into this next map, obviously, Atletico, they still only need that one more. Corvide need to, as I said, I was really hoping Corvide would be that team to take us to map number four, uh, to that fifth match. But, obviously, we're not going to know until this game's over. Absolutely. And while we wait uh, to get underway with the kickoff of this last game, I've been taking a look at the invite qualifier statistics. Now, does um uh, it feels like in almost every uh, particular category, Atletico uh, have all three of their players within that top 10. Uh, particularly, you know, some of them close to the top as well. So it does appear that uh, Atletico, uh, obviously they qualified under the name of Sandcastle, but, you know, even being picked up by Atletico, they've really kept up the aggression and the team play that they're known for. So I think they'll be looking uh, good throughout this league. Most definitely. And Steve gets the shot off here. Dumbo gets the save away, gets it cleared out. It's quite nice. It's going to be Sicky knocking this one forward again. Emp to play that one out to the side. Will be dropped in nicely here. Lucrish will be trying to clear this one out. Blitz gets up on that one. Lucrish ends up dropping it back central, but Emp is there to get rid of this one. It will be flying back down into the Corvidae half. Sicky 
Trying to play this one out to the side, succeeds in that, but now he's got to follow this one up. We Dumbo behind, gets the demo, and now Atletico trying to make a play here, trying to get it together for themselves. A pinch shot here, Siki gets the save. There we go. 50 seconds into this game. It was a pretty slow start, considering both teams that are playing. We see Corvidae keeping up the early aggression, though. Just to clear out Dumbo. Won't be able to find Lucrich on the end of that. Sicky. A good setup for Sexy Steve, but too slow to a dump. I'll find Lucrich, but again, flips a little bit too far forward of that one. Flips wasn't able to interrupt enough. Us players are still being made by both teams here. Just haven't really found too many uh, players that can be placed onto the net. Yeah, and Amp's going to be up on this one. He's going to try and knock this one down. Trying to get these team players working again. It is nil all. We've not seen any early goals. Amp putting that across the front, however... Clips able to get the clear out. Steve to follow that one up. You can see Corvade trying to get their players together as well. It's looking quite nice. Corvade really trying to hold it together, but that shot coming through from Ampsiki. Yet again, their defensive, well, legend right now, getting a lot of these saves and these clears out. It's got to be Plitz following that one up. Gets challenged by Amp. He's going to try and play this into the wall. Steve's there to block it out. It's going to be Lucrish trying to knock this one back into the Corvade half. And Siki yet again there to clear it up. It's a shot here from Plitz. Amp with a save. Nice save there from him. Still in the danger zone here for Atletico as Corvidae keeping up the pressure. It's going to drop down for Sexy Steve just off that top bar. Emp to clear. Sexy Steve looking for a pass. Gets it towards Siki. Goes for far post, but Dumbo, what a read. Gets in the way for the save. Lucrish. And able to clear. It'll be AoE Emp. Gets the fake there, and I believe that was Sexy Steve who flew past the ball. Emp throwing that one down for Lucrish. Gets the shot on it again. Rotations are a lot stronger for both teams now, Nutters. Halfway into this game, still nil-nil. Yeah, it's looking quite strong for both sides. Dumbo's going to knock this one back into the wall. And you'd say that if Atletico get, into, get the goal from this point, you'd think they might be able to take it out. In saying that, though, Corvade have proven that once they get a couple of goals, they can hold their own in the defense. It's just a case of getting those goals in the first place. In saying that, Lucas is going to drop this one into the center, Steve. Clears it right back across the goal. Emp's there to drop it down. Plitz misses that one. Sicky, luckily there, is back for Corvidae and able to knock that one forward. They'll be following this one up. Tries to play it out to Steve. Does get it there. Who plays it back into him. Sicky plays it into the center, but Emp is able to intercept that one. Dumbo taking this onto the wall. He's going to try and drag this one down. Pops it straight into Sicky. Trying to play that brute force game. Can't get it directly through that car, though. Emp up on this one. Gets into it by Steve. And right now, with a minute and 40 seconds left on the clock, you'd have to say that, well... Both teams looking equally as, uh, I suppose, likely to win. Absolutely. Could see the first goal here. We will see the first goal here. Well, oh, yeah. That just comes down to the first mistake uh, made in this game in defense. By Corvidae, Plitz a little bit too close to that one, perhaps. Oh, yeah, does find it past him and Siki. Not going to be able to rotate through in time. This is very valuable for Atletico. Minute and a half almost on the dot remaining in this game. But again, still time for Corvidae to bring this one back, but Atletico, if, if I know them, they'll mount a strong defense and play the counter-attack game. Or they'll try and score another one here, and Splits is there to knock that one away. They're just, you know, you think they're going to play defensive. Plitz says no, he's going to score one wow. for Corvidae. That was Look just... at Lucrish here. So close. Lucrish going out, has no boost, misses it by just a half second, if that. And Plitz is able to capitalize on that. Comes out, knocks that one in. A minute 15 on the clock. Corvidae tying this game back up. Kickoff going in favor ever so slightly of Corvidae. Steve following that one through. Gets the shot. Lucrish with the save. It's going to be Emp knocking this one forward. But Siki gets the challenge in. It's going to be dropping down for Steve. Instead, Siki goes up. Gets it there. Steve's trying to challenge that one. But Plitz will have to try and clean this one up for Corvidae. It's going to be Steve knocking that one forwards again. Plitz is there. But Dumbo picking up a save and his savior badge. Lucrish. Knocking this one down and forward. This is Atletico's chance to take this series. Otherwise, they do have to go to game number five, and it could be a risky one. Absolutely. Definitely not what you want to do, especially early in a league like this. You want to have a, as much of a strong start as possible and really show the other teams what they're going to be up against heading into future games. Of course, Corvide eh? feel like they've really stepped it up. In the later stages of this particular series, Atletico still looking strong, but Corvidae have really broken down a lot of the teamwork that we saw from them earlier. Yeah, Plitz playing this one forward to Steve. Oh, Steve fake. fakes him out. Absolutely lovely. I believe that was Dumbo coming across the got faked. And plays it off the back of his car. Plitz just comes through. Steve just says, hey, flips around that one. 
and that will actually give Corvade the lead with 19 seconds on the clock. Definitely looking good to try and force it to this game five. It's what I was hoping from Corvade. And right now, mm. it's up to these boys to hold on. Steve's there. He's knocking this one forward. Dumbo drops it in. Emp is going to go up on this one. Lucrish is there. He drops this down. This is Atletico's last chance in this match. Try and avoid this going straight to a game five. They've got to get in on this. Siki pops this one against the wall. It's going to drop down here. Nobody there to clean it up. Corvade will take this match. The series now tied at two all. We're going to game number five. And we love seeing game fives here, not us. We absolutely do. It's always an absolute pleasure. Obviously, Corvade just coming out on top. Both goals going to Plitz. A lovely fake from Steve to cause that. A savior badge for Dumbo. Really the only, I suppose, outstanding thing for Atletico there. Holding out Corvade for so long. At the same time, Emp only getting that one goal. It was assisted, as always, on the side of Atletico. But for now, it doesn't look like it's going to be, well... An absolutely outstanding fifth game. We've seen some close ones. We've seen a couple of very distant ones. Um, you know, who do you think is going to take it from here? And seeing that Corvade are basically on that reverse sweep train. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, momentum would hand this uh, in favour of Corvade, obviously. But Atletico, I feel that they're a strong enough team to be able to break that one. We'll have to see as we jump into the kickoff of this game, of course. Corvade. Not particularly... Uh... Known for the reverse sweeps, not us. Yeah, definitely not. You're going to see this one popping forward. Emp is going to win that one, but it's going to fall for Lucrish now. It's knocked forward. It's pretty high in Plitz. We'll clear it away in the end. It's going to fall nicely. Emp trying to get it back into the center. Plitz is there. Siki's there, but no. Just drops down. It's going to be Emp playing it back into the center. It's going to be Dumbo trying to come around on that one. Not able to get it on target. Siki following this one up. It's near the goal, but Emp gets the clear. Plays it away. Lucrish puts it high. It'll be Dumbo looking for Emp again, you'd assume. But no, Emp's already moved away. Steve gets the clear away. And it'll be Plitz. Dropping that one down on the challenge from Lucrish. Dumbo trying to come through. Trying to find anybody he can. But just not getting there. Emp plays it up. Gets the challenge in on Siki. But still, Corvade just holding their defense nice and tight. Siki coming through. And picks up the first goal for Corvade in this match. As we said, Corvade... Looking really strong in terms of momentum. They picked up the last two games, and the first goal in this game working heavily in their favor. Atletico need to try and uh, stop this one where it is right now. Get some momentum themselves. This is looking really good for Corvette at this stage, as AOE will have to drop back. Lucrish looking fine off the backboard. Sexy Steve clears it on forward. AOE not able to get on the back of it. Dumbo, nice handbrake turnaround. Finds that one over the top of Player. It puts. Plays this one forward, Sexy Steve, still forward rotating back, Aoi Amp throws that one forward, Sexy Steve already up in the air again, all over the place this game, strong rotations coming out from Sexy Steve it seems to notice. Absolutely, Amp comes through, puts that one just on the crossbar, Lucrish there to follow it up, finishes this one, evens the scores up, it's one all now, 3 minutes and 45 on the clock, Plitz just gets beaten by Amp, as does Steve, Lucrish comes under that one as Siki gets beaten over the top. And Lucrish evens up the scores. Atletico just trying to get back into this one. But we've obviously seen he who scores the first goal tends to win the match. In saying that, however, it's going to be Steve going up on this one. Playing it into the corner. Amp's going to be there to play this one out. Lucrish is also there. Gets bumped away, however. And Plitz now trying to pinch this one down. Gets it there. Steve not able to follow that one up. It'll be Siki coming through. Pops this one high. Steve trying to get on that. Dumbo gets the save out off of Steve's shot. It's going to pinch back in. Lucrish is there. It's going to be played back out. Lucrish can follow this one up. He will. Plitz is there. Plays off to see. Steve just can't get the angle. This is absolutely huge for this series right now. Now, there's obviously, if you lose series, you don't get a point. Whoever wins gets the point. So, right now, this is for all the beans and sexy Steve. Hungry for them, it seems. Absolutely lovely. Drops it forward. Siki pops it high. Lucrish is there. Emp didn't get up fast enough. Tries to get there. But the angle just coming off that inner post in the crossbar did not help out for Atletico. Still three minutes left on the clock. This could still be the tight game that we're expecting for game five. Would be interesting to see this one go to an overtime. But Dumbo knocking this one forward. It's on target. Corvade kickoff basically coming out there. It flips out and Dumbo gets a nice easy open goal. Really nice play there from Atletico. Patient in defense and as you said... Corvade perhaps slipping up a little bit there in offense. But still, only about two minutes into the game. Everything tied up. 
keeping things close in this one, Nutters. We see Dumbo off the sidewall now. And we amp up in the air, finds it past Sexy Steve and sends him back towards the ball. Powerful hit there midair. Dumbo on the sidewall, looking for the pass across. No one's there, though. This is the important thing to mention is I feel like Atletico are playing a lot safer as they don't want to uh, give any uh, options over to Corvidae on how they can make a breakthrough of the defense. Definitely opportunities developing for both teams, but Corvidae looking stronger. What a pinch towards the net from Dumbo off the backboard, but Sicky. All he had to do was place his car on the way, get an epic save. Plitz now, trying to flick that one over. It's very weak. Goes for the demo instead, allows Sicky to get aggressive. Won't be able to find it past Dumbo. Looking at that mid boost, Sexy Steve over the top. It's looking good, finds the post. Plitz throwing this one high, but it slows things down. Allows Dumbo to get up there for the save. They need the clear. Lucas will find it forward. Plitz won't be able to find too much there. As Sicky did get the demo in AOEM, but again, Nothing too advantageous for Corvidae if they can't keep up the pressure and throw those shots on. However, we start, start to see them do it again. Atletico looking for the clears, but Corvidae rotating really well in offense here, notice. Yes, Plitz is going to come up on this one. He's going to try and get the second touch. He gets the second touch, drops it down, but Dumbo's there. Gets it cleared away. Siggy's there. Gets the shot. Dumbo picks up another save there. Gets his save, you bet. Absolutely lovely. M dropping this one forward. Dumbo, sorry, Lucrish is there. Pops it up. It's high from Dumbo. It's going to drop down nicely. Steve gets his card just in the way. It's going to depend on this shot from Amp. He gets it through. Sicky there with another save. Lucrish is up. They're just pounding this pressure on, but Steve comes through. Makes the save for Corvidae, keeping this game right in the balance. Dumbo just trying to keep this pressure on. Steve gets it cleared out. Playing this one straight up the field. Corvidae trying to mount an attack straight off of this. Getting it through. Sicky pops it high. Plitz will be trying to come around on this one. Does get the touch. Knocking this central. Lucrish is going to get up. Doesn't allow Siki or Steve onto that one. It's knocked forward by Dumbo. Steve's up. Emp's up. It's going to be pinched away. But Dumbo demos Plitz. Now they've got the one-man advantage temporarily. Dumbo's there. Can't get it past Siki. And the score's still sitting at two all as we tick over that one-minute mark. This is constant back and forth between these two teams right now. Dumbo getting the chip forward and clearing this one, trying to find it over the top of Sexy Steve. Not enough length as Sexy Steve does get a touch into the defensive corner. Blitz finds that mid boost, tries to cut in on it, throw it center, but Alien D possesses on the sidewall, looking for the pass to the backboard. Dumbo's there, tries to get high enough on that ball to drop it down, but Blitz with the clear out. On the sidewall, it'll pinch up, trying to throw this one forward for Sexy Steve. Couldn't angle for the shot, a little bit late with the rotation. Dumbo getting bumped into the ball for the clear. It'll be Aoyamp now, throws this one forward. Blitz, the only one in defense, trying to delay things. Both Sexy Steve and Sicky in position now. Sexy Steve up in the air, trying to challenge Dumbo. They both stalemate, drops right back down. Aoyamp looking for one off the backboard. We could be seeing an overtime here, Nutters. Golden goal could be in effect. Dumbo trying to stop this one from Corvidae. You see Aoyamp dunk it down to the ground. Overtime is secured. So close there, it looked like Corvidae might have had enough in them to be able to get aggressive and find that zero second goal, but just enough from Atletico does come out. What do yeah, you expect was... to see in the overtime here now? Does an early goal or quite a dragged out one? I'm thinking quite a dragged out game. Unless this leads to something, it doesn't. I'm going to say a dragged out game. The first time we're seeing in game five. It's the first time we're seeing an overtime in game five. And that save coming out from Pl uh, from Lucrish doesn't get him faked out. Siggy pops this one high. Dumbo's there. He's going to oh. pop this one over. Steve comes through. Makes that savior play for Corbidae. Gonna knock this one down. Can he get it past MP? Can. His Plitz is there, but no, he puts it high. It's gonna be Lucrish now to get the clear out. Very lucky plays here for Atletico. Only just holding on by the skin of their teeth. Plitz playing this one forward. Dumbo is there. Plays it to Lucrish. Dump plays it back out to M. And not able to get onto this one. It's going to be Sicky knocking this one forward and dropping it down. But Corvidae looking absolutely outstanding right now. It's falling for Steve. Lucrish is there. Plays this one up. And, well, it's just such a tight game. Dumbo's oh, Dumbo. through and Sicky with a save. Lucrish, powerful pass back across the other side. An important thing to note here is Atletico have caught Corvidae on rotation several times. They just haven't been quick enough to find the shot underneath there. So close. Plitz able to get the save. Atletico looking to keep up pressure. Corvidae playing a little bit slower. Reactionary counter-attack style could prove quite valuable for Corvidae here as Atletico haven't really been too strong on offensive rotations. Haven't been able to take advantage of the mistakes that have been made in defense of Corvidae. They have been there. Ant finds the shot on, but Sicky, hard camping in net, is able to get the save. Now there's the Corvidae counter-attack comes through. Immediately broken down by Lucrish. Popped high by AOM. Lucrish will get on the back of it. Throws this one. Center this. Could be picked up by Corvidae. There's Sexy Steve. Throws it towards net, but Dumbo to clear out. 
Low pressure off the side while after picking up the mid boost. It's a pass back from Plitz to Siki. Well played with communication and defense there. Demo from Lucrish on to Sexy Steve. Siki tries to go for the shot, but finds the backboard. And Dumbo now with the powerful clear. Dutch out of the curb from Sexy Steve. Keeping up with the ball, just AoEM to beat on that side wall. Plitz looking for one out of the corner. Dumbo up in the air. Lucrish needs to leave that alone. He does. Good communication seems to be coming out from Atletico in defense right now. But this is so much back and forth. Two minutes and 17 seconds deep. This could be anyone's game. Absolutely. The shot coming on from Lukrish there. Not on target enough, but Steve's going to come through here. It's going to be Plitz playing this one forward. Both teams looking absolutely amazing. That communication is obviously at its peak right now for both of these teams. Steve playing this into the center. Lukrish, I think he got bumped out a little bit there by Plitz. It is going to be off the wall. Ziki knocking this one forward again. Emp will come through. He'll knock this into the side. Ziki's there. Steve plays this. Pinches it into the wall. Lukrish is there. Gets it away and... Really, Corvade just putting the pressure on. It's looking good for both teams. Both teams playing defensive game strong and offensive game strong, but mm. neither team getting this breakthrough that they need. And this will be the most important breakthrough possibly of the season as this is such a tight match. We do see this one knocking forward now. Siki is going to come through, gets it over the top of Lucrish and playing this one central. But no, he's just going to leave that for Steve. Steve's going to play this one hard, fast and forward. It's going to be M playing it out to the side. Steve's coming up on this one. It could drop nicely for someone. Dumbo gets the touch. And Siki trying to get this back center. He will. Plitz pops this one high. This could be the chance. Emp gets up and beats him to it, though. Atletico need to snap out of the rotations that they've found themselves in defense. What? It's not even rotations. I just saw earlier on in net two people camping in net and having only one Atletico player forward. This should be the goal to end it, and it will be. Siki from Corve. They pull off the reverse sweep. And as I was saying, this is just down to Atletico were looking so strong in this series and in this overtime as well. But they started to find themselves where they're having two people pretty much sitting right in that net. And I think it was oftentimes Lukerich Ford who was just looking for that clear and Atletico were then trying to react off the back of that and rush down the field. It was the wrong move to make Corvade off the back of that were easily able to play two, even 3v1 in the offensive half for themselves and find it past Atletico. Unfortunate mistake there, but Corvade played the stronger game in the end. Yeah, absolutely outstanding play from Corvade there. Pulling out the reverse sweep over Atletico. Atletico absolutely dominating them in those first two games. Game one and two, seven goals in that first one. Just outstanding. You wouldn't have thought Atletico would lose it from here. But Corvade pulling back some tight wins, taking that game into overtime, really proving just why they are here in this league. They pull themselves through. They beat Atletico down and really... That is just outstanding. Absolutely amazing stuff from both of these teams. What a series to watch. As we said earlier on, we do apologize that we weren't able to bring all four series. One of them uh, was canceled due to Jam having to forfeit from the tournament, unable to field that three um, core roster. But I don't think we've been let down by the other teams here. Now, it is absolutely amazing uh, so far within the first uh, week of this, of this league. Absolutely amazing stuff from ESL as well. Absolutely outstanding. Now, we do have to mention that next week, we've also got the second week of the ESL Australia and New Zealand Championship. We're going to have some great games for you. We're going to have one more up against Legacy up first. This does start, as always, at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on the Tuesday night. One more up against Legacy. Two teams who, in essence, have both had the 3-0 wins this week. Obviously, one more did take theirs by a forfeit. But it mm -hmm. still means that these are two undefeated teams. You've got Alpha Sydney up against Masterminds, so should be a nice matchup there. Corvade will be taking on Jam. That'll be, you know, an interesting matchup. We haven't seen Jam just yet. Corvade proving that they're here, taking that reverse sweep over Atletico, and then Atletico and Silla both trying to take this one back. And and for today, obviously, from what we've seen, we've seen Legacy take out Masterminds 3 0. We've seen one more. 3-0 Jam by forfeit, so nothing to say how Jam will be playing. We've seen Scylla take a slight hard loss there from Alpha Sydney, taking it out 3-1, getting taken out, and Corvade making that reverse sweep for Atletico. Absolutely amazing. Uh, what an effort from Corvade towards the end there. But this has just been a great uh, start to the league. Not as a great first week comes out. What do you expect uh, to see if, if you had to pick a team right now that's going to win the whole league overall? Uh, who would it be for you after just this uh, this first day? Legacy. 
That's who I'm going to say right now. And as yep. we actually have a look at the score, uh, the sorry, the leaderboard for the moment, we do see obviously one more sitting on top. Legacy sitting in that second spot. That's the first versus second for next week. We've got Alpha Sydney up against Corviday. Sorry, we've got Alpha Sydney and Corviday sitting in those third and fourth spots. Each team obviously having played one and won one. Uh, we see Atletico, Jam, Masterminds, and Silla all sort of going down there. But you'd have to say Atletico probably the more hopeful of the teams that lost today. I don't mm. think we'll be seeing. Uh, I, I think don't think we'll be seeing too many games as tight as we saw between those two. I could definitely see some more three O's, and uh, you know maybe that legacy versus one more will be good for next week. But obviously, for now, we're just gonna have to see what we get out of it. Absolutely, and. Uh... You know, following up of what you said, uh, pick and legacy uh, to look good to win the whole thing. I'd have to agree with you at this stage. Uh, they're definitely, uh, out of all the teams that are, are going to be competing, looking like the strongest to me. We could see surprises, though, from the likes of one more in Athletic, obviously Alpha Sydney as well, but they just weren't convincing for me today. I'd have to agree with you on that. In, in saying that, I mean, Atletico may be looking all right. Um, you know, I think they'll be doing quite well looking into next week. I think they've got a good chance. In saying that, though, you have to consider Jam down that one mm. player. Who are they going to pick up for next week? That's going to all come out over the course of this week, you'd expect. We've seen a few free agents. Maybe some players that didn't manage to make it into this Australian New Zealand Championship. We've got some more qualifiers over the next couple of days. We could see anybody getting picked up from there. In saying mm. that, and on that what note, about however... What about Jake Cook? Jay They've Cook. used him as a sub before. Do you think that he could fit in nicely with uh, Monty Connor and Bango? I'm going to have to say no. They used him as a sub, and even then, that was very sparingly. Quite often, they just wouldn't play in a tournament if they didn't actually have that core three. I'll be interested to see how that goes. But on that note, we're basically going to be saying goodnight here from ESL Australia. My name has been Nutters. I've been joined by the amazing Rankies. You can join us back here next week, 7 p.m. Tuesday night, for more of the Australian New Zealand Championship. Thank you and good night.